It was an extraordinary game. I think it was an incredible performance uh, from the players and from our people. The atmosphere that we generated in the stadium is the best I've seen this season. We demanded that. We had to go to a different level and connect it again to the demands that this league has in every game. And they have responded in an unbelievable way. And I think the players left absolutely everything. They put their heart, their soul in every single ball. And I cannot be any prouder because I know how difficult it is to beat this team, how much you have to suffer, all the preparation, and, and how much they have to process to try to, to do what we've done today on the pitch. So, big thank you. I was all trained. I told you that I didn't know, but I knew how to train this. Uh, you have to, we consider that really poor one as well. That's the reality. And, and that really affected us. The dressing room was really touched at half time. And uh, I could sense it because we deserved much better after the first half that we had. But you cannot feel sorry for yourself against this team because they're going to punish you. And we reacted really well after 10, 15 minutes where you suffered. And then we grabbed the game, we controlled it, we modified a few things, and, and we gave ourselves the big chance to win the game. Yeah, it does because winning helps and as well obviously the, the schedule that we had prior to Christmas, the amount of players that played so many minutes, uh, we were some injuries and, uh, and we needed to recharge and uh, now we've got some momentum back. Three wins in a row in a really convincing way, the team performing really well and we have to go for it. It's, the whole season is now ahead of us. We need players back because now we have again a few injuries and, and that's a big concern that I have, you know, availability of the squad, that we have everybody fit training and available, we have a good chance. Jordan, thanks. Thanks, Joe. Um, you spoke on Friday about one thing your players just showed how they react to bad moments, yeah. obviously conceding the goal, missing chances. I think this team now has an elite mentality. Why do you need them to go into a game and just get through these moments? Absolutely. We have shown that today. The thing is that to be the best and have the best mentality, you have to do it every three days. And that's the challenge that we have. Uh, Certainly, we showed that today, uh, especially against, in my opinion, now the most informed team in Europe. And, uh, and now we have to do it. Tomorrow when we train, the next day against West Ham, and continue. Because when we have that, that body language, that attitude, that energy in the team, it, uh, we are a really difficult team to beat. I think he looks, again, really confident, really sharp. He was a real threat um, to the only for the goal that he scored and how intuitive and cheeky and streetwise he was to, to, to do what he did. Uh, but as well, the other ones, Leo, I think Kai was unbelievable as well playing as a nine because it was a game that I thought it was going to fit him. The same with Georgie. Uh, you need big performances to, to beat uh, these kind of teams and I thought all of them were at their best today. With Gabby, we expect to be something um, about days. And with Alex, we don't know because he had some feeling in his calf again, and we had to take him out. So. Hi, Michael. There's been quite a lot of talk about trying to evolve to be more of a controlled team this season. Do you feel a bit like you talked about being cheeky and intuitive and like, you know, is there a kind of chaos and energy that this team actually needs? Yeah, control is not really a word that I like. I like dominance and and don't allow in teams to breathe more than control and especially in which part of the the pitch that happens that's the most important thing in my opinion but we can be very chaotic in open spaces we can create a lot of issues playing in different ways and and that's another weapon that we have can i just ask you just quickly about half time and how you handled that it must have been really challenging to sort of feel so disabled for everybody and how mm -hmm. to get that belief back again yeah yeah, because the energy shift is in, in this game and uh, and you have you win two or three duels and you can feel the people are more confident, the crowd is going, you lose them, they start to run at you and you and they are a bit scared. So to, to manage that emotional state is really important and uh, and we had to do it and we talked, listen, you want to beat them, we're going to suffer. It's going to be moments that we're going to have to deal 
with things that are going to make it really uncomfortable and we are not really used to it. But they're going to take you to that game. And then we have to navigate through that to win it. And I think today we made another step on that. Hi. You should be fine, I think. You got a, a kick, I think, on, on the ankle or on the back of his foot, but uh, he should be fine. And just quickly on, on the title race, um, I know we ask every week, but <laughs> the difference between two points and eight points off is yeah. just very different. It's, it's very big. Yeah. Is this the right title race now? Is that right? Well, we are there, that's for sure, and uh, and we want to continue to be there. And I think we've been really consistent the whole season, if not, you're not where we are today. Um, our game is game by game. Again, the availability of the squad is going to be crucial, um, and we have learned that from last season. Uh, so let's try to make that happen. Hi. Yeah, it's a game that that I had in my mind, that I was imagining, and um, and how much, in my opinion, we were going to need them. And it's a team that doesn't really allow you to put the fifth player in in that front line the way they play. And, and George is, um, is a really intelligent player. His biggest quality is that he makes the people around him better. He connects everybody. And it was it was unbelievable. I think it was one of the match. Okay, finally, to Jane from CBS. Just picking up on that, could you reflect on the qualities of a player coming in for about his first start in a month? Yeah. How valuable is he to you off the pitch and then on the pitch? Unbelievable. I always tell that he's an example, he's a role model. Um, he's been in a lot of pain as well because he has an issue that he's been carrying for months. He didn't want to stop, he's been playing with that. He's been training, always the first one in, last one out. Um, and for all the kids, for everybody at the club, if you want to look in the mirror to somebody, just look at him and how he says he's won everything, but you ask him not to play or to play one minute last week, he's happy to go there. You ask him to play 98 minutes at that rhythm, and he's able to do that. So I'm really lucky to have players like this. Okay, thanks everyone. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.